run, catch, and run from Jim Hart to Bobby Moore, whose motor finally stopped working on the one. victory in this game would have put them in good position to take the NFC. There were also two moments in 94 that deserve special mention. In week four, running back Johnny Johnson etched his name in the record book with the longest run in New York Jets history. into winning football. Keenum, there's the interception. And a long run back here for May. Marcus May, one man to beat. Does May have enough gas to get there? May looking for an angle. He does. May brought down at the one. close to him trying to catch up as Doki Williams Williams is back there they throw a block on him waters to the 10 to the 5 to the 4 unbelievable I'm gonna tell you something you never saw a greater individual effort than you saw that time by Doki Williams number 85 coming all over from the right side of the field chased him all over to the left side got a block and in spite of that still saved a would-be touchdown by making a tackle on about the five-yard line. I tell you, it was incredible. Doki Williams, number 85. Watch this fumble. He gets hit from the backside by Joyner. And watch now. There he goes down the sideline. And see if, see, there, there, see if we can see um, there he Doki is. Williams. There, he gets tied up. He could have fallen down, but not, not so. Look at, look at the way he gains on Waters and makes the saving tackle on about the five-yard line. to 14 but on the ensuing kickoff it's Percy Harvin who starts breaking to his right then turns it upfield at this point it's a foot race can Percy Harvin get to the end zone Falcons had the angle pushes him down at the three yard line a return of 104 yards for a person well it's still my hood <laughs> and it's blocked it looked like they had problems with a snap and a hold again under these wet conditions and that's Scandrick with the ball and he's still on his feet down the sideline. Skandrick may take it the entire way and finally dropped inside the five-yard line.